In this class, we will continue with the same question and try to solve one more part of that. Now, if you remember, we have already seen this question in the previous videos, right? Now, what we have to conclude is the time average power delivered to the transmitter line by the transmitter, right? Now, if you remember, this is what is your transmitter, right? Now, how much power is actually delivered to the other end, right? So, we have to find it out. What I can do is, I can draw some equivalent diagram because we have already solved this problem in the previous videos and I will draw this simplified diagram. So, what we mean by is, we have something Vs, we have something called as Rg, right? Or basically I will draw it more clear. This is Rg. There will be something called as Z in. Remember the input impedance? Remember we have already solved what will be the input impedance when you look from here, right? That was our Z in, right? So, what I am trying to do is I am drawing the same circuit, whatever was the Z in equivalent, I am just writing as Z in. What was the value of Z in? The Z in was 14 point, if you recall, we have already solved this in the previous video, right? 14.66 minus J24.17. This was the value we have already solved in the previous videos. Now, the voltage across this, let me call this as V in, the input voltage. Whatever the current which is flowing, let me call as I in, right? And this value is already given to us, right? What is the value of this? It comes to be Vs is 50 volt and 500 megahertz, right? So, what I need to do is I have to find it out what is the power being delivered here, right? I have to find at this end. So, basically what I can do is I can find the current first, right? What would be the I in? So, I in or the current which is flowing is nothing but what would be the current? The voltage by the resistance, right? It is very simple. So, what is the voltage? 50 divided by what is the resistance we have? We have Rg plus Z in, right? Rg plus Z in. If you substitute, what will happen? 50 divided by Rg. How much is Rg? Rg is already given to us in the question, right? It comes out to be 50 plus what is the Z in? Z in is nothing but 14.66 minus J24.17, right? If you solve this, what we are saying is, if you solve this, this complex term in your calculator, you will get I in as 0 0.7 on solving of this 243 angle 20.5 degree amperes. So, when you solve this, basically what you are saying is, when you solve this in your calculator, you will get this quantity I in. Now, once I got I in, what I need to do is, power is very easy, right? What is power? I square R or in this case, as it is a sinusoidal, it will be actually I RMS square R or nothing but the load. But in terms of peak value, it will be half I square R, right? Let us see that how I can find the power. So, the power would be half I in square, the real part of Z in, right? Because it has complex part also, right? The real part, right? Whatever, whatever, which, which part will dissipate the power is nothing but your real part, right? Resistive part. So, if I solve this, it will become half I in square is nothing but this 0.7 2, 4, 3, the whole square into the real part of N Z in is nothing but 14.66. So, which is nothing but 14.66. If you solve this, what you will get power is 3.846 watt. So, nothing but you have to just solve this in your calculator and you will get 3.846 watt. So, we are able to find it out what is the, so what we have done is we are able to find it out what is the average power delivered to the transmitter line by the transmitter which comes out to be 3.846 watt, right. So, we have concluded and we are able to find it out the power in this case.